People, welcome to the White Dog Music Channel. Today we're going to have a look at a G major routine in the beginning guitar series. <laughs> This video, as always, is brought to you by Elite's Bass Strings and Elite's Guitar Strings. We've also got a number of partners, including Tommen and Tutiful. If you're gonna buy any new equipment and you would like to support the White Dog Music Channel, you can use the link below. We also partner with Tutiful, one of the UK's most established online tutoring companies. So if you're looking for guitar lessons like this, or you're looking for English, maths, or any of the other subjects for online lessons, then again, you can find a link below. Okay, so I'm a big believer that we should practice multiple things at once. So why practice one thing, for example, when we can practice three or four or two, make the most of our time? With this in mind, this is where the idea for routines came in. So I use routine in my practice regularly, and it just means that I'm mixing and matching different elements into particular exercises that I'm playing or practicing at any given time. Today I have what I would describe as a beginner's routine. This routine contains three elements. Those elements are the power chord, the G major pentatonic shape and the G triad. One of the reasons why I think this is a really, really nice routine to start to look at is that I think most beginner guitarists don't associate chords with scales and arpeggios. Most of the time, musicians don't realise when they first start out that those three things very much live together and come from the same place. So whilst this is a technical exercise, it's also an exercise in understanding that these three things belong together. For this routine, I've kept to a power chord because it is a beginner's routine. But it could, however, be substituted for a G major bar chord, for example, or a G open chord as well. Feel free to be flexible and add your own ideas in as well. I would say that there's two ways to approach this routine. The first would be just to learn the three elements and then practice them together in your own time to a metronome, to a click, to a, to a drum beat, to whatever it is that you practice along with. Hopefully you use something. Time is not just a magazine. The second way that I would recommend approaching this is to play along with me at the end of this video. I've used what I call a moving metronome, which consists of percussive elements and a drum beat speeding up by one BPM after every routine. I really like this idea. It comes from the world of drumming. Many drummers use this idea in order to get their licks and their chops up. Using this approach, we start at 120 BPM and then as we go through, we move to 132 BPM. As I say, I really like this approach. I like the idea that we speed up and we build technique as we go along. Somehow for me, sitting on a metronome that does exactly the same thing all the time isn't quite the best way that we could spend our, our practice and playing time. I've gone for a power chord in the key of G or a G power chord starting on number three of string number six. So that's your low E string. We've then got three, five on the A string and five on the D string. Mm -hmm. 
You may notice that I am lifting my fingers off during the playthrough and that's because I really want to get those fingers doing extra movements. If we sit here like this, for example, it strikes me that we're, we're not doing as many movements as we could do and it also helps with the technique of muting as well using your left hand or your fretting hand. Okay, so the next element is the G major pentatonic scale. Chords come from scales, so the idea that we link these together as quickly as possible I think is really, really important. This is the G major pentatonic over one octave, so we're going to be playing three, five, two, five, two, five, and then back to two, five, two, five, two, and then I'm adding a five in there as well. Again, you can see this on the tab sheet to my right. Okay, the third element is the G triad. For those of you who don't know, this is what we would call a broken chord. So this is the notes from a G major chord. Again, it's this idea that we are linking numerous elements together. It's really, really important, I think, to understand that G major scale, for example, uh, includes chords and it includes triads. And the sooner we put all of that together and bundle that together and start to understand that, I think that's a really big thing for beginning guitarists and musicians to, to get their head around. We start off with the G power chord. We're going to play that four times. We then move on to the G major pentatonic. We're going to play that up and down. We're then going to go back to the G power chord, play that four times, and we're going to finish off with the G triad up and down. And you can see that I also finish at the end with a strummed power chord as well, just for added stuff. So as always, good practice involves playing slowly, really being thorough with the elements that you're learning, ensure that you really, really know these three elements inside and out, and then add them all together. And now we can play them together in the full routine coming next. The White Dog Music website also has these lessons up. You may possibly be able to see it a little bit easier there. So again, I've linked below to the, this lesson on the website as well. Before we move on to the next section where we play the routine together, I just want to say a big thank you for dropping by the White Dog Music YouTube channel. Please leave comments. If you like this idea, let me know. If you don't like this idea, let me know. If you think anything could be improved, let me know. Like, subscribe, do as you do, or don't do as you do. Take care, and I'll see you again real soon.